Okay. Welcome to Fast Cars, Fast Girls. We are your IndyCar experience. Well, we are a day late for an episode and approximately $300 million short. Yeah. But holy cow, Ab, we got a lot to talk about. Yeah, we do. You guys are in for a treat because we were actually just going to drop a pre-recorded show this week. Um, so this this is a bonus recording that we weren't even planning on doing. But as the fates decided, big news happened. Also, we don't have said pre-recorded show. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we don't. Details. You know what? Yeah, details. The, details. The Lord provides. Mm-hmm. That is the why. Lord, he said, uh-oh. They don't have anything. And so he spoke to Roger Pinsky and said, Roger, drop the news now. And right. RP said, okay. Now is the time. Sounds oh. good. <laughs> just uh, wild. Just. Uh, uh, hmm. So Roger Pinsky bought the IndyCar series and IMS and subsidiaries, including and I- IMS Productions. Uh, yeah. Basically, it was the Holman and Company's racing portfolio. Yeah, they they bought it all. He bought it all. How much for the set? Um, apparently, three hundred to three hundred fifty million. That's and, what. But it's... that that's what just everybody's kind of like gathering. Yes, yes. Nobody. Yeah. Oh no, because he was like, I ain't saying shit about shit. Well, what's funny is when he was asked about it on Monday. Um, Somebody said, how much have you paid? And he said, I haven't paid anything. The deal's not done. <laughs> Which, um, <laughs> again, I don't know. By the end of this, like, my, I, I already enjoyed Penske as a businessman. Because, like, yes. the man knows what he's doing. But, like, after that presser on Monday, I was like, I feel good about this. I feel very good about it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm a Penske fan. Um yeah. But I feel like this is going to be great for our series and for the IMS. Exactly. So let's lay out what happened first real quick in case, I don't know, somebody's not looked at it. But as we discussed, so Penske's buying the racing portfolio. This apparently started back at the season finale in September. Yeah. Tony George and requested a meeting. He said... Roger, I'd like to speak to you about stewardship. And Roger was like, we can stop the race right now. (laughs) Right. I enjoyed that he said he actually had to focus on staying calm because, you know, it's a business negotiation. But that inside he was so excited that he could hardly keep it together. I believe that he was probably Christmas morning excited. I believe he was. He said he was going 100 miles an hour on the inside. He was 100 percent Christmas morning excited. And Mm. That's one of the reasons that I love this because the thing is Roger Penske is a great businessman mm-hmm. who has a love affair with racing and with the IMS. Exactly. Like in the press conference, he talked about like his first memory was, and he was like, what? 14, 14. I want to say like 13 or 14 being dropped off to go to the race. Like, are you kidding me? That's a great story. It is a great story. And that he just instantly fell in love with it. I mean, how many of us, our introduction to IndyCar was at IMS and it was, you went with a family member or a friend and one race and that was it. You were hooked. Yeah. First time's free. (laughs) Exactly. So I just, I really enjoyed kind of seeing that side of him. I do too. Cause I mean, he's pleasant. He's a nice guy. I mean, we have met him shaking his hands a few times. I'm just saying. Yeah. I actually will. Uh, I, I will brag on myself um, for <laughs> showing up at exactly the right moment. Mm-hmm. I got to ride up in the elevator with uh, RP and his team. So that was pretty exciting. I get there and I hit the, you know, pop in. I'm the only one in on one. Thank yep. God I wasn't applying deodorant or something as I typically do in the elevator, by the way. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, like it was, I mean, I literally had just sprayed perfume. Um, but I, I hit the deodorant in the car. So, uh, but yeah. And so anyhow, and then the doors open on two and I was like, well, that's weird. And then I look up and I see Roger Penske, Mark Miles, like <laughs> all of these people. And I was like, hi, uh, I was just, uh, I mean, I was just flabbergasted. Uh, uh, you're like, I'll and, get out of the elevator. <laughs> right. Like, excuse me, I'll wait. Um, and Roger Penske is just a class act. 
I mean, he walked right in, smiled, shook my hand, and said, "Hi, I'm Roger Pinsky." <laughs> you, I was like, you went, "Yeah, I, I know." Everybody knows, right? And I just, I was like, "Hi, I'm Abby Meyer. Nice to, nice to meet you." And I was like, "And congratulations, sir." Um, nice. Yeah. So, so that that was pretty cool. But it just, I mean, I just love that on the day when he is making international news for buying IndyCar and the IMS. He's got the class to introduce himself to somebody that he has no need to know. I was going to say, like, he, he didn't have to. He could have just been, like, Meh, gotten in yeah, the car. He, he could have like, walked in other and not spoken at all. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> or, you know, like anybody that... else in an elevator, you know? Yeah. And, like, they, I mean, because they were, you know, having, a, having some conversation. You know, they could have just walked in, continued that, and then gone about their business. But, no, he made a point to be the first one in to walk in and shake my hand. And I'm like, I just... I just can't not like the guy. I mean, no. that's just it's a that's a that's a class act move. It really is. It really is. And uh, and I it just it bodes well. It does. And something that I've said to a, a couple different people um who have asked me about this is that you know, one of the things that I enjoy about Pinsky is the level of professionalism that he requires. I mean, top to bottom. I think what when we interviewed 40 Gosh, it's been, shoot, it might have been a, a year ago now. Um, yeah. I think it might have been December. There was snow. But, like, he even talked about it. Like, all of the trailers look a certain way. Like, all of the trailers have to be clean. All the bikes are lined up a certain way. Everything is laid out. Like I think he said it's almost, it's, like, very military. But that's how you become so successful in business. Like, well, at the end of the day, like, that's how that you run a ship. Yeah. Well, exactly. And if everything is set up the same way, then you don't have to waste time figuring out where shit is. If you have a plan, if it works, if you've got a procedure, you stick to it. If it doesn't work, obviously, I feel like RP is the first person to go like, this isn't working. We're just starting again or we're doing it over. Yeah, we're going to try something different. But yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, he is now the fourth owner of the IMS. Like the fourth Wild. kind of. Yeah, I guess owner, if you're counting, like, the Holman family as one owner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I enjoyed that he, that they use the word stewardship. Almost I like, like nobody it. really owns it, we're just caretakers. That's, again, that kind of, sp- I, I know we're speaking irreverently of this place, but that's how it should be spoken of. Like, I agree. You don't own it, you take care of it. And I yes. love it. You make sure that it's ready to go for the people. Yes. Oh beautiful it is it's interesting apparently um when i was doing some reading on some background it was you know like holman and company since mary holman george's death just about a year ago um they had just really started to just sell out the portfolio so they sold clabber girl and when Mm -hmm. that happened people started to get like oh shit man um they're selling clabber girl and now you know they've sold the racing portfolio and so basically all that's left is some like Real estate in Speedway and Terre Haute and minimal mineral rights to lands, which oh, I always enjoy. Those mineral rights are wild, though. They are. It's really fun. <laughs> and That's a legal circus. It's just a lot of fun, though. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. It's yeah, it's it's wild that they're kind of clearing everything out. I mean, I wonder where they still own land at Speedway. I know it was, I, I, I mean, obviously they're not going to be like, and here's where we own. Well, you know what? Hmm. You could do a public record search if you were very, very interested in it. Hmm. I'm interested. I, I'm interested. Um, I'm not that interested. <laughs> Fine. Cause that's not uh, like a Google public record search. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, it could be where they used to live. Cause one of the things that, you know, Tony talked about, and the press conference here. was, yeah, and that, like, he and one of his sisters were, you know, brought home from the hospital to this house that was right by the speedway. That's true. I met and that's part of it. Yeah. So, but, I mean, yeah, he was, you know, very emotional. Um, he was. He was, which, I mean, I, I can't imagine that you wouldn't be. Yeah. I mean, that's a whole thing. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. So, yeah. And it was it was very cool to be there in person. I was about to say, yeah. How was it there in person for the 
Um, it was very cool. Um, the George family was all in the very front row. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, Tony George was, I mean, definitely trying to hold back tears most of the time. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was, you know, when they were talking everything, just, just a very, like, kind of reverent feeling. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So. It's uh, it's interesting. And, and you know, it's not, it's, it's been a corporation, but I think through the paperwork, it's like this Pinsky Entertainment Corp, which I, I've not, now granted, this was just me on the Google for about five minutes. Uh, I've not really been able to find a lot about the Pinsky Entertainment Corporation. Because... <laughs> <laughs> In my mind, now Roger Pinsky is financing like Hallmark movies and Lifetime movies and RP, if you need some help with that, call me. Right. We've got some entertainment you can finance. Hello. Hello. (laughs) But like, (laughs) it's not even new because like what uh, he had Pinsky's owned MIS, Mm -hmm. Nazareth, California. One, he has like some shares in a North Carolina one, and then like mm-hmm. they ran the Grand Prix of Cleveland, and they currently still run the Detroit Grand Prix. Which maybe this means that Cleveland will be back on the schedule. I'm just saying. Oh, I would love for Cleveland to be back on the schedule. Ooh, and well, Kenny and Carrie live there. Well, and we're also going to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Fuck. Cedar Point. Well, yeah, but everybody can fight me on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because I love it. Oh no, we're totally going there. Cool. Although I feel like no time will top my first time because they had a whole exhibit on the Beatles. See, when I went, they had a huge exhibit on the uh, on the Who and Pink Floyd. Oh, nice! Yeah, so it's just great every time. I mean, hopefully it will be funny, like super lame. Be like the music of Kenny G. Be like, I don't need to go <laughs> uh, see that. Yanni. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of Yanni's name. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. Yeah, but uh, yeah. but yeah. So yeah, it looks like conver- the conversation just started at Laguna Seca, and and it should be wrapped up by the beginning of 2020. I guess now they just have to go through some governmental hoops, which we're not not quite sure what those are. Yeah, well, it's... especially yeah, since the Pensy Corporation is not based in Indiana. Yeah, I think that might be part of it is just the whole non-Indiana thing, but it's not really like a prohibiting factor. It's and it's not like a monopoly, FTC, anything else type of. Yeah, thing it would require government approval. I really do think it's just with the state and. I'd say some conspiratorial type of thing of like, well, maybe that's why Roger Penske donated to Eric Holcomb's campaign, but he did that. Um, donation way before this discussion happened. <laughs> but if you are a conspiracy sleuth, both Roger Penske and Tim Sendrick donated to Eric, g- our, the governor of Indiana's uh, re-election campaign. So there you go. Interesting. It was back in like July. That story. Huh. Well, I mean, they spent a lot of time here and there's a lot of Pro- racing racing laws made here. There are a lot of racing laws made here. <laughs> Just say it. All right. So that's kind of the what happened. So I think we should just start to speculate wildly about things. You ready? I, yeah. So do we want to go with things that like, do we want to go from like super unrealistic to realistic or just mix them in? I'm just kind of going to go more like topically, like what does this mean for IndyCar? And then what does this mean for the IMS? And then just go like free form. All right. Well, what do you think it means for IndyCar? Uh, we're going to have a doubleheader with NASCAR. Oh, we're 100% going to have a doubleheader with NASCAR. Mm-hmm. And we might well, get more. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, and um, Penske already at the Detroit GP, he's already brokered a deal where it's a doubleheader with IMSA. And I was going to say, we'll probably see more IMSA IndyCar crossovers. Which, that'll be fantastic. Which is perfect. I think that's that's a great like IndyCar fans will watch IMSA. Yes. And I think IMSA fans will watch IndyCar as well. Agreed. So I think that's great. I mean, our I the double header stuff. I mean, he has a team in every yeah, and in, in, in all of those 
disciplines of racing and yep. it's a successful team. Like he's already been on the phone to Jim France who, who runs NASCAR. So shit's happening. Yeah. Well, and what I really um, appreciate was, you know, all the other, you know, team owners and things speaking out because Roger clearly had conversations with them. And uh, then like Marco yeah. Andretti tweeted that he was on a 40 minute phone call with RP. And I was, you know, I just, I mean, again, class act, like to yeah. talk to each person one-on-one and say, listen, I know there could, there are obvious concerns here, blah, blah, blah. This is what I'm doing to, you know, to be open and to not show any kind of like, you know, favoritism or impropriety, blah, blah. I mean, he announced that he's not going to be on the pit box anymore. Right. That's a but huge change. That's how it that's how it should be. If you want like a successful transition to something new, like at the press conference, he was like, I've already had conversations with AJ Foyt and Mario Andretti. And I was like, all right, if they're both cool with it, like, all right. Like, yeah. I think, they'll, they'll call bullshit bullshit. Yeah. And like they, especially those three, I think have been in it so long. Like, it's it, well. It's like you or I. Like we'll be the first people to go. Like no, the no, the fuck you're not. No, this is some yeah. bullshit. Exactly. Like hey, 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 hey. And <laughs> that's something that I enjoy that he also said in the press conference was you know he's like if somebody has a problem like they can come talk to me. Yeah. Like, but let I, me. He's like I don't think anybody's gonna ha- gonna wait to talk to me. I think that people will let me know. And I I love it. And yeah, like there was the Indie Star article where they were like. Well, I think AJ did something separate. Mario did something separate. But then, like, Michael has put out something. George Steinbrenner the fourth was in this Indie Star article. So is Michael Shank. Like, everybody's like... Michael Shank, Chip Ganassi. Everybody's cool. They're like, it's fine. Like, we've talked to him. We don't see this as a problem. Which... And I love it. I do, I do, too. And I think that that says a lot for who Roger Penske is as a person. I really because do. Because... If he was somebody that nobody trusted, yeah. I mean, you can only spend so much with good PR. Like, if he was somebody that these other owners didn't trust, there would be rioting in the streets. Exactly. Exactly. Like, I They'd get be it. trying to come up with all kinds of ways to limit what he could do and this and that, and it would be a whole thing. But I think that's, I mean, that's, this is the, you know, calling it. Everybody's like, well, what about conflict of interest? What about conflict of interest? Like, all right, sure, there may have been some insinuations that the Penske teams are sandbagging and sons of bitches. Shut up, Sure. (laughs) Yep. But there's so much internal protection and structure in the series to begin with that, like, to get away with something, you would have to strip everything out of the rule book. And at that point, like you're going to have a mob on your hands. Absolutely. Well, and he actually said that he's going to separate the businesses. Yes. Completely. So he actually wants to do away with the already incestuous business practices among <laughs> all of these things that he's acquiring, which it, mu- is it must bother him as much as it bothers you. It drives me up. A- I mean, ah, I, when he said that he was going to, like, separate things, I literally, except that we, you know, we were texting about other things, but I almost was like, oh, that one was for you. I know. It's great. It's what, so it's what we call in the, I, I'm sure whoever sets it up is going to do what we call in the legal field, the Chinese wall, which sounds racist, but it's not. Um, but it's basically <laughs> like, if you're in a firm, so I worked in a big firm and I worked on a team that represented the capital improvement board, but we also had legal representation of the Pacers here in Indiana and like the Pacers and the capital improvement board who owns the field house, like they can't, you can't share information between the two. Like, so you Mm -hmm. have to like sign 14, like it's a whole thing, but it's this whole legal setup of like the left hand and the right hand will never speak about things. Yeah. And I feel like if there's one person who can set that up, it's going to be the Penske Corporation because they have their fingers in so many pots already. It's super easy. Absolutely. Um, And I think that he's shown to be a successful businessman. Um, Yeah. This was one of my favorite quotes of his from the from from that conference. 
He said, if you work hard, you're committed and have great people, you'll have great success. Mm-hmm. And then he ended it. He said, I hope my dad is looking down on me today and saying, son, you did a great job. I know. I got a little teary at that moment. I know. I was like, RP. <laughs> damn it. Giving me, giving me all the feels. This is I like the American the damn dream. It was, though. Like, if you really think about it. 14 yeah. years old, dropped off at the track, loved it, loved every minute of it. Now he's arguably, like, one of, if not the most successful, like, racing team owner. Now he's, like, over a, the series and the crown jewel. Like, that's the American dream. That is the American dream. What His father was, like, um, did he work in fabrication or something like that? Like, it's not like... I don't know. I could be 100% wrong, but it doesn't feel like he got handed, like, millions of dollars. No, I don't believe that he did. Which, I mean, that makes it even better. Like, okay. It does. I mean, that is... Man's going to roll up his sleeves and do some work. Absolutely. And so on that note, yes, he absolutely rolls up his sleeves and does the work. And so I also met their head marketing guy. um, And I met... Flip him a business card, right? What now? Flip him a business card, right? Of course. Okay. You know me. (laughs) I know. Um, Of course I did. Um, And I also met um, Roger's son, Greg, Greg Penske. And so I ended up standing next to the two of them at the press conference. Yeah. And after the press conference, right in front of where we were standing, there was like a housing for an outlet in the floor Mm -hmm. and had like a little lid, you know, that flipped up. And it wasn't like it wasn't sitting correctly in its housing. So the lip was up a little bit and one person tripped on it. Greg Penske sees this and immediately bends down in a suit that costs more than anything I own. Okay? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. A, a very nice suit. Bends down on the floor to assess the situation and see why it's not fitting in its housing. And if there's something that's in the way of the track, et cetera. Anyhow, fixes the damn thing on the spot. Oh, my God. And then just stands up and goes about his business. And all I thought was, that tells me everything I need to know about Greg Penske. First yeah. off, that right there speaks volumes about his character. Secondly, that tells me a hell of a lot about how he was raised by Roger Penske. There was oh, no, yeah. let me find somebody else. This isn't my job. Let me pass the buck. Hey, who well, you know, let me find somebody to do this for me. No. There's a problem that needs fixed. I have the tools to fix it right here. I'm just going to fix it. I'm just going to fix it. <laughs> like problem, solution, done. Done. I love it. Oh, and I saw that. And I, I just thought if I had any doubts whatsoever, that would have relieved them all. Because that's the attitude that I feel the entire Penske Corporation is coming into this with. Which is, there's a problem. Let's find a solution. And, let's be, and then fix it. Let's, let's just fix it and move on. Are you saying, in the words of Rip Van Winkle, if there's a problem, yo, I'll solve it? I think I am. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. Why RP revolves it. (laughs) And see. Oh, but yeah, I just, I, and the fact that he, you know, is walked the whole grounds to take notes of things. And that he was having a meeting with, and wanted everybody to bring their top 10 list of things that they would like to change or improve. I mean, That's perfect. That's how you step into an already existing structure and go, what you guys have is great. I appreciate what you're doing. What's next? He, he pulled a Jed Bartlett. He said, what's next? Exactly. Mm, love Ooh, it. I, that's an excellent comparison. Mm-hmm. RP is Jed Bartlett. Oh my God. Well, um, <laughs> what's this? What's, oh God. Oh, I can't. Well, it's not Estevez. Sheen. Oh, well, Martin, uh, Martin, Sheen Martin Sheen. I want Martin Sheen to play uh, Roger Penske. Well, we've never asked Roger Penske who he would prefer to play him. That's true. I would like him to say Martin Sheen. So, RP, mm. if you're listening. I just... But see, like, older Martin Sheen, I think, can pull it off now. Because he's got a little bit whiter hair. It's true. It's true. He just is a little shorter than I want my Roger Penske. Well, that's, I, I understand that. I understand but, that. But, but otherwise, yeah, Martin Sheen, I think, would be pretty perfect. But I don't think that Sandra Bullock or I are the same height, and she's obviously playing me. I mean, who else could conceivably play you? Let's be real. 
Deborah Messing, maybe. Maybe, but she doesn't maybe. have the charm that Sandra Bullock has. <laughs> uh, who would play you again? Have you have you made this decision? I have not made this decision. Ooh, this is a tough decision, but I know, and I'm not making it on this podcast either because it's a whole thing. I mean, oh, I've yeah. had many contenders. I enjoy who other people think should play me. I mean, if I... you don't have it down, this is not something you can do spur of the moment. No, no. no. Who would you choose for me? Oh, see, I think I'd have to think about it as well. I know there's not anybody that just, and don't say Amy Schumer. She only has like, two good jokes. Oh God, no. Thank you. Somebody said that once and I was offended and they were no. offended that I was offended. And I was like, okay, well now you have a bad sense. Now I know you have a bad sense of humor too. Like Amy Schumer does not have your gravitas. Mm-mm. Okay. Let's, whoa. No. Whoa. And also don't limit, uh, like people don't limit yourself to a blonde to play you. Like you have to think broader because there's hair and makeup. There is. And I've also had my hair every color possible. So they would need to do this in your biopic. Yes. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Anyway, back to the task at hand. Uh, But yeah, no, Martin Sheen would make a great, great RP. But yeah, I just, I love, and he said, you know, it's not a broken business. We're just coming in. We want to invest some capital and see how Mm -hmm. we can make it even better. I mean, they're already talking about reinvigorating that third engine manufacturer discussions. There's the discussion of, you know, additional races, potentially now two in Canada. And if it's in like the Pacific Northwest in Canada, yes. Oh, God, that'd be amazing. Like flip that right before the Portland race. Oh, my Mm -hmm. God. I'm going to have to take so many weeks off. Yeah. We're going to have to start making money somewhere else. We're going to have to start stripping. (laughs) I mean, I'm more of an escort kind of person myself, but. I don't like to talk to people. (laughs) Don't worry. You won't have to. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Please, children. (laughs) Don't ask your parents about this moment. Oh. Or Google Just, it. Yeah, don't, don't Google do that. It. No. Don't do that either. Okay. No. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, and he talked, I mean, one of the first things he talked about with the IMS was the possibility of a 24-hour race. He's talking about putting lights at the IMS, mm. which we've, like, always talked about, but, like, it's a lot of capital investment. And I think RP's like, well, I'll write the check, damn it. Right? Well, and I mean, you could honestly do, (laughs) you could throw um, an IMSA race or a 24-hour race after the IndyCar GP. Yep. Because IndyCar doesn't do anything on Monday, on Sunday and Monday that week. I mean, happy Mother's Day, Mom. I'm going to a 24-hour race at the IMS. I feel like she'd be okay with that, though. She'd be fine. She'll come and visit. It's it's cool. We'll have brunch I mean, at the track with her. My mom wasn't even in town last year for Mother's Day. It's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, no, he said he was talking about lights. Also, he used the phrase, and I know that, I hope that you heard it because I got so excited. He he talked about, like, you know, the greatest spectacle in racing. He wants to make the IMS, like, the greatest entertainment center Yes. in the world. And I was like, we are getting more concerts. This yes, is happening. we are. And yes, I was like, we are. Oh, no, that shit. made me so giddy. I actually can't wait to tell Paul because he's been saying for years. I mean, you heard him say it on Tuesday that he yeah. thinks they should have a concert every month. They could do it. They could do a whole festival in there. There's room for multiple stages in the IMF. Yeah, a whole music festival. I mean, oh, it would be God. fantastic. Because A, and, yeah. I was going to say, think of the money you would save if you erected a permanent stage. I feel like you could do that. Like it would be something semi-permanent. So you could maybe like drop the back of it all down. Sure. But other than that, like, there you go. And when you're not renting that equipment year after year after year, Mm -hmm. because it ain't cheap to put up and tear down two stages in one weekend. No, believe that. Believe that. Is not. I mean, it's really, it's really three. Because I think they have to swap out whatever they like the back the backdrops or whatever for carb day probably get swapped out for 
Legends Day. Oh, shit. Yeah, they do. So there's probably some, and like, it's not, it's more like two and a half. Two and a half, yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll call it two and a half. But, oh my God, as soon as he said that, I was like, shit, we're getting more concerts. I hope to God we get a music festival because uh-huh. I am, I'm already there. I don't care. Well, it, if- can, it can be the world's worst music and I'll be there. I'll go. I'll okay. camp. I'll camp. I, I don't even yeah, care. I mean, hell, we'll camp. We'll camp. I mean, you kind of have to put the permanent stage in where the snake pit is because that's yeah. actually your easiest place to park randos is out in the North 40 and have them come in through that North entrance. And, and honestly, if you put something there, you would just, because we're the, um, I think we're Carb Day stages. No, that, that wouldn't impede the GP view, would it? No, no, it wouldn't. Okay. Okay. So you could almost have like two. Except, yeah. Yeah. I'd have to sit and look. I I just don't have a map pulled up to stare at it long enough. I know. I'd have to. We'll have to pay attention this year. <laughs> no. Oh God. Not happening. We might not even make it to the concert this year. It just all depends, man. There's a lot of shit planned. Yeah, there's a lot of it depends. It's going to be a wild car day, so just hold your butts, people, and get ready. I mean... Request the day off work now, because we're doing a live show, and it's going to be a great time. Yeah, and I'm going to tease it this way. Um, My mother, my mother, um, is about to challenge Abby's mother and friend of the show Mike Ford's mother to a shots contest. And by that, I mean creating shots not drinking so so i have not told you this but i picked out what the shot's going to be for my mother oh yeah what what's your do you have the name of it i don't mind to tell you what i've decided to call my mother's um you told me what's in your mother's what you decide to call it the bill cosby oh that's right yes you know (laughs) very twisted sense of humor as a family that's right um, no, I have not invented a name. Okay. Well, then never mind. Yes. Um, Although the yeah. name in mind gives it away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, I'll tell you the flavor off air because anyway. I don't want your I don't want your mom to get a heads up. Are you still thinking of a name? Uh, no, I, I I will I will also think of that later when I think of what actress should play me. Okay. Yeah, we're we're not gonna waste show time on that. <laughs> not this so... week anyway. No, not this week. We 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 have news, real news. Too much. Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, so so yeah. Uh, so for IndyCar, well, and I also I we've we've gone all over the map. Like I love how we started with IndyCar, but we've already talked about the IMS. Like we're just we're just now we're just going everywhere. Yeah. I I one hundred percent expect to see Roger Penske take a step back from managing his IndyCar team directly. Well, I feel like he said he was going to do that because uh, Tim Sendrick's really stepping up with that. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, 100%. He's going to he's going to take a step back. He talked about like he's going to be like in the fancy suites. Like, I mean, I, he was like, I mean, I'll still listen to the radio. And I was like, of course you will, RP. I would expect well, yeah. less. I mean, whoa. The man doesn't know how to be at a race without a headset on him. Like, like he's just going to start saying things but they basically like unplugged the microphone i feel like <laughs> oh i think rp still gets direct access that's true he'll just have like the kill switch where it's just rp's voice that comes over <laughs> damn it guys click oh god it's the voice is it the voice of uh, god no it's, it's rp it's worse yeah nope even more important oh no <laughs> oh so yeah i yeah, I, I feel like he's going to go above and beyond to to show that there's not any, you know, to, just to make sure that everything's above board. I think so, because that's obviously like. He's I, not I, trying to screw anyone here. I, I mean, he's putting in he's paying a shit ton of money for this he, and he's he, planning on putting more money into it. I, I mean, honest to God, the amount of money that he is he has paid for it and he's putting into it. He's not even going to earn that I mean, it right. will earn back eventually, but he's not going to earn it back before he dies, probably. Right. Um, like, and if he had that much money, he could have bribed half of the field. Like, he could have bribed everybody else already. Yeah. Like, not so, to sound that way, but like, if a man has this much money, he would have already been like sneaky cheating. Sorry, I have like weird hiccups right now. Oh, you're fine. But yeah, I agree. 
And I just, I don't feel like that's who he is as a person. No. I just, Mm-mm. yeah. And, you know, speaking towards, I kind of falling back on that, like, yeah, he's a team owner and now he earns like everything. Okay. Well, to be fair, Tony George also <laughs> owned teams. He owned Vision Racing, and he actually co-owns ECR. Like, he co-owns an active team. Yeah. Like, well, he owned Vision Racing. Okay, but he also is a co-owner in Ed Carpenter Racing, so. Yeah. Current. 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 And, like, Penske, like, it's his, one of his corporations, subsidiaries, businesses. Like, the Detroit Grand Prix, where um, they've not been the greatest at. Yeah. Like, I, I'm sorry. If I owned a race and I was going to cheat, I'd have been like, guess You'd who's be at that race. The third every single race. Every single time. Yeah. So. Oh. Yeah. So everybody calm down. Calm don't down. worry. Just like, I don't see it being this big of a deal. I don't either. And I actually have been quite pleased with the internet that there hasn't been a lot That's of people true. losing their damn minds. I, I will, well, let's say right now. That's true. I mean, give it time. Give, I mean, I'm saying first race of Penske car wins. Like, everybody's going to be like, oh. me, Roger. Like, I'm going to go ahead and just say it. Yeah, it, but, there's conspiracy theories galore. Yeah. But, but yeah, for the most part, I feel like the motorsports community is all kind of like, yeah. Yeah. That, uh, that makes sense. Who I mean. Who who else would we want to to own the series in IMS? That's exactly it. Like, and I think Roger, when they were talking about the background of this deal, basically it was like, I don't want some randos coming in here and messing everything up. He's like, no, man, I'm going to do this. Like, I'm yeah. going to step in. I'm going to take control of this because I'm a racer. I'm a race car. You know, I I have a team. I've got a history here. Like, this is who yeah. you want to take over. Yeah. It's just. Mm. Yeah, keep it in the family, keep it in-house, man. Somebody who knows what the hell they're doing. And let's also not not neglect that one of the possible buyers was NASCAR. And and Comcast. <laughs> yeah. Can you even imagine how ridiculous that would have been? Oh, God. I, mm. I don't want to. Uh, I, I did enjoy. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, now there are people who were like losing their minds over whether he was going to change the name of the IMS to like Pinsky Motor Speedway. And I'm like, first off, the man respects tradition far too much for that. Exactly. Like that's no, that's not a thing. But I thoroughly enjoyed uh, NASCAR chasm on Twitter. <laughs> yes. Post, posted. He was like, drove by the track. Everything looks fine, guys. And it was a picture of like gate one or yeah of uh to the turn one gate and then yeah. a picture of the 16th street entrance and instead of indianapolis motor speedway he put over top of it roger <laughs> p's party <laughs> palace <laughs> I, <laughs> I laughed so hard so i want that hard. i i don't he needs to market that shirt because everybody would wear it to like carb day. Think about how many people would wear like Roger P's Roger party, P's Palace, party Palace. Carb day. Like, come on, I think man. That should be, I think that should be our carb day, our special carb day shirt. Oh, there we go. We got our special carb day shirt. Roger P's party palace. Yes. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh yeah. That, I mean, that's going to make me laugh for days. <laughs> Just every time I see it, I giggle. Well, that well, and is- it- yeah. It, well, it just reminds me of the you know the Ron White joke when he was suing Sears over his tire. He's like, next year it's gonna be called Ron White's big old goddamn building. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's just a ridiculous name. And yeah, then like, like, uh, I just googled because I know at some point Tony George, like I'm sure like Pinsky was like, man, I don't know, but George was like, yeah, like NASCAR's talked about buying it, Comcast talked about buying it, and RP just whips out the checkbook. He's like, how much? How much for the set? Happen? Yeah, he was like, no, no, we cannot let this happen. Comcast, no. NASCAR, no. No, oh, he's just like, let me just write a check. Will you guys take a check? Oh. <laughs> uh, for RP, yeah. 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 Okay, so I have two questions that okay. were not asked during the press conference, and I, I wasn't going to ask them, 
I thought of them, but I, I was like, no, I'm not asking either of these questions. Um, so if you had questions, I'd have to run them by Teresa Hilliker, who we have determined uh, is who you want to sit next to during a press conference. <laughs> yeah. We don't have a Patreon, but if we did, one of the options would be you can listen to a press conference with my mom and she just has no time for bullshit questions. Nope. So anyway, what are your two questions? Um, so my my two questions are, number one, is the cooler policy going to change? Oh, it better not. It better fucking not. If First anything, off, it's we don't have for the, the better. infrastructure there to to sell that much alcohol. No, you you can't. You can't. You can't do that. Um, I can understand if it's like if they change it somewhat. Like maybe you have to buy a cooler pass. All right, like a cooler tax, basically. Yeah. All right. I I wouldn't understand. love it. Right, I'd but it'd be fine. As long as the amount of alcohol in my cooler is worth at least three times as much as the tax, I'm I'm coming out a winner. <laughs> Which, when we pack coolers, mm. it will be. Yeah. We will never say that number out loud, but you will not reach it. <laughs> nope. Nope. No, no, you won't. Nope. Try again. So, yeah. So that's question number one. I'm like, you people are not asking any of the questions. And the guy who <laughs> asked about how much you paid, I literally, I turned to Greg Pinsky and I laughed and I was like, well, that was a wasted question. Oh my God. My mom said the exact same thing. She's like, are you kidding me? That's the question they asked. Like, he's not going to answer that. No. Get real. You knew that. You knew that when you asked it. I know. Right. Stop asking questions. Now in the law, we're supposed to ask questions. We know the answer to don't ask those as a journalist. You know, you're not going to give the answer and you wasted a question. Yeah. Cause you just want to write that he wouldn't comment. Yeah. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Right. Anyhow. <laughs> And then question number two, I wonder how Mr. Penske feels about burnouts on the bricks. Oh, I think that's going to be a hard line. Although, wasn't it? It was one of his drivers last year who burned out on the bricks. Yeah, but I think we all are, we're under the impression that that didn't end well. Yeah, that probably did not end well for that person. That ended with the put him on the phone type of combo yeah so i uh i'm i'm interested to see how that goes because i'll tell you what roger penske is not somebody that i would want to piss off and if he owns the track it's not going to be any of this nicety like hey we'll donate money to riley blah 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 and the amount that it costs us to fix to to clean these fucking bricks don't know it's going to be a, you done. It's going to be a, I'm taking it out of your check and I'm taking it out of your hide type of situation. Oh yeah. I bet yeah. he finds your team because you know what? Roger Pinsky does not care if you think he's a dick. No, he's, <laughs> like, he's reached the age where he doesn't care anymore. And I appreciate that. Yeah. Like yeah. I think that he's going to, he's going to charge you for the fees. I think yep. he's going to fine you and you may not be allowed to race at that track next year. Right. He's, he's going to fine you to clean it. And then yeah. he's just going to tack on a fine just because you're an ass. Yeah. You're, you're going to get your allowance taken away. You're getting grounded and you're getting extra chores. Yeah. And you might not be able to go out with your friends next year for your birthday. Like, Pretty saying. sure you can't. Yeah. Uh, I can't imagine that he's pro burnout. I don't feel that he is. Cause, oh, that's right. Because I forget what race it was, but like Joseph had won and he he came over the radio he's like can i do a burnout that's right yeah some i know juliana is yelling which race it is i'm sorry i don't know yeah the important part is that he didn't kill the car well yes that's true but yeah uh but yeah that's right they he did have to come over and ask permission so that means that the burnout conversation happened company-wide yes i feel like a memo (laughs) Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah yep there was quite a memo also though speaking of the 500 like he was very cagey which again my mother said he's not going to answer that question when asked about the guaranteed spots yeah that was a uh 
a very uh, politician answer. Well, that was a non-answer answer. Yep. I'm not going to speak one way or the other. That's a conversation for upper management, Mark Miles, Jay Fry, and whoever else, da, da, da. So I also feel like he said it in a way of, you know, I'm not saying they're in or they're out, but he also kind of said it in a way of like, he's not going to be directly involved with that decision. Which, again, I think speaks to that whole separation thing. Like, he's kind of overseeing everything. It's it's how it should be. If you're a... Yeah, we've, we've had many of these discussions recently. You and I have over the past year that, like, oh, yes. if you're running something, there has to be a level of delegation. Like, you can't be involved in every single discussion and every single decision. No. Like, And I think that was him saying, like, I obviously have my opinions. I Everybody knows them, but, like, at the end of the day, this is a decision that might be made at a different level than me it might not reach his level which honestly it shouldn't no because there aren't enough hours in the day for him to be involved with every single decision yeah because that's like how many entries should we have for a race you know like his thoughts are how can i take it the series the race on i the ims so the series and ims from a level that they're at and continue to increase it. Like he has to think so much so forward that he can't be bogged down by daily minutia. Like Absolutely. That, and he's, he's a visionary. And so the daily minutia would just stifle him, which is, yeah. I think why he wants everything so organized so that there's no time wasted on bullshit. Exactly. Like I'm here for it. I mean, I, just I, like, I, you know how um, president Obama, he had basically, you know, Two suits. suits. Yeah. Or, or yeah. And so, you know, it was like suit tied shoes. You know, he didn't have to wake up and decide what he's going to wear. It's, you know, he pretty much had a uniform. Steve Jobs did the same thing. Exactly. And it's so, yeah. you know, these visionaries tend to, I mean, look at Pinsky, starched white shirt, black pants. Um, or me. You know, Every Sunday, I lay out all the clothes for the week. I'm just saying. Right. It's because why bog your mind down with, with bullshit? What the hell am I wearing tomorrow? Yeah. No, it's, yeah. it's like these are that Much I need to waste things. time on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah, I, uh, I, I very much enjoyed just his visionary and, and, you know, and the fact that he, you know, was like, we're growing in numbers and fans and viewers. And he specifically mentioned social media. And I was like, get it, RP, octogenarian like, who understands that social media is important. He didn't even call it the Twitter or the internet. No. Or the ah. instant gram. Instant gram. The face. Well, actually, it was for a while. The face. It was. But, the but on, the, on the line. On the line. Mm-hmm. On the mm-hmm. line. Mm-hmm. We're going to call it exchange a gram. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> there aren't <laughs> as many gifts from that movie as there should be, by the way. I know. I know. It's disappointing. Especially since one of our friends called Instagram instant gram this week. So like a gram cracker. Yep. Oh god. <laughs> oh. But but yeah, it's uh yeah, that w- he definitely gave a non answer answer, but yeah, I, I agree with you. I don't I don't think he's gonna involve himself in you know, every single one of those type of decisions. Yeah. No, and he shouldn't, so no, I agree. And I think that he has done a great job. Like he said, you know, having good people around you. I think that you don't grow to be this successful without knowing your strengths and your weaknesses and putting people around you who are better at things that you're not that good at. Absolutely. And I think that Roger Pinsky is one of those people that, you know, you can criticize him, but don't think for a second that you're going to tell him something that he doesn't already know about himself. Right. Right. You know, I mean, I think that he's very self-aware because um, you just would not be that successful on that level if you just had blinders on and thought that everything that, you know, everything that you touched was gold and nobody else had any better suggestions. Right. It's... Nope. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I really am. Um, yeah. I mean, it's it's it's. It seems ageist, I think ageist is the word I want to say that, like, here it is, like, again, this oxygenarian, but, like, him stepping into this role is almost, like, reinvigorated. Everybody's like, okay, like, oh, it's going down. Which is just wild. Who would have thought that, you know, 
somebody, an octogenarian buying the track would have so many people super excited about the track's future. Exactly. On, on paper, it doesn't necessarily make sense. But once, but if you know Roger Penske, then it's, it makes perfect sense. It does. It does. And I think it's only good for the series. I really do too. Um, I will say, so you and I have joked many times about the split. Yes. And about, you know, we always are like, well, but who won? Who's still around? Um, <laughs> well. And I will say on Monday, Cart got the last laugh. That's true. Like, it's kind of funny. It it really is. And technically, he owns Cart again because they were acquired <laughs> by IndyCar. <laughs> uh, that's uh, funny. <laughs> it really is, though, right? <laughs> Oh, and for everybody who there are people losing their minds about the fact that Roger Pinsky said IRL. Um, don't get me wrong, it made me laugh as well. But to yeah, be fair, so <laughs> the name of the business is the Indie Racing League. We don't use it anymore because it's divisive. Um, yeah. And so we use IndyCar. So on official documents, it's IndyCar DBA doing business, or it's IRL doing business DBA. as in, IndyCar DBA. Yeah, IndyCar. So, yes, it's the IndyCar series and all this blah, blah. But the company itself is actually called Indy Racing League. So he, he's not, he does not have dementia. I just want to put that out there. Or, um, to quote... Mm-hmm. <laughs> to quote the director... Oh, no, I was... It. Oh. No, it wasn't... It was... Um... Oh, my God, why am I blanking on the name? Because I have had no sleep. Um, Marshall Pruitt. Oh, yes. Marshall Pruitt won the internet. What was it? He bought it. He could call it whatever the hell he wants, basically. (laughs) Yes. I was like, you're correct with that, Marshall. You're absolutely Uh, correct. God, yes. That was the absolute best, Marshall Pruitt. He bought it. He can call it whatever the hell he wants. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, he He can rename it. Oh, God, yeah. it's just good. Yeah. Uh, that's right. The director just commented on that. I was thinking he said it, but yeah, no, Marshall Pruitt cracked me up. He bought it. He can call it whatever he wants. Call it whatever he wants. Oh, uh, it reminded me of my, uh, my dad always had a thing about people who would argue with other people about how their name should be pronounced. Oh, my God, this is one of your, yep, this is my favorite. Yes. And so, you know, about people saying, oh, you should pronounce your last name Mayor. And he's like, it's Meyer. And they're like, no, it should be Mayor. Because he's like, listen, I can spell it Q-M-P-Y-X. My last name is Meyer. That's <laughs> my favorite. Yeah. And, can... and he always said those letters Q-M-P-Y-X, which ended up being his AOL email address. It was Q-M-P-Y-X at AOL.com. AOL.com. Oh, my God. Those letters are burned into my memory. <laughs> Dude, right? Q-M-P-Y-X. Uh, I'm going to have to add those so, to the password rotation. <laughs> right? Yeah, when Marshall first said that he bought it and called it what he wants, I thought to myself, call it QMPYX. He like, can spell it QMPYX. It's still pronounced IndyCar. IndyCar. You just thought to yourself, it's home where Joe Myers having a laugh. I, I really did. I was like, <laughs> Dad really <laughs> loved that. That's for you, Joe. <laughs> uh, Dad might have gotten a Twitter that day just for that. <laughs> he would have. Of course. At QMPYX. Right, that'd be his Twitter handle. It's fine. Uh, I mean, it'd be his everything handle. Uh, hilarious. <laughs> but, but yeah, I think it's I think it's very exciting. Um, I, I think that Roger, and the thing is, Roger does not mind spending money on things that are worth spending money on. And so is he going to just throw a bunch of money at it that he's not going to see any return on or that it isn't really going to do anything? Absolutely not, because he wouldn't be successful if he did that. I mean, I 100 percent think he's going to put some big money into the IMS. I but think I think it's going to be very strategic and that we're all going to be happy with what happens. Well, and that was actually part of the deal. Like, it's like you're going to buy it, but you're also going to put in some improvements to the whole thing. Yeah. And as a businessman who's been hugely successful... Um, mm-hmm. You don't just throw money at a problem. It's strategic where you put your money. There's strategy involved. Um, 
<laughs> Lots of strategery. Well, and he talked about wanting to have F1 back at the track. I would I mean, love that. This whole, I mean, we, so my family and I sat, so my parents and I sat in like the kitchen in the house we were in listening to it. And every time he mentioned something, he was like, F1. My mom's like, oh, you could go to that. Ansa, you could go to that. Compton, you could go to that. I was like, I will go to everything. Everything. Okay. okay. I will, I will go, I will go to a upside down pineapple cake, which is the food I hate the most cook off at the IMS just because it's there. But I'm so excited that cool things are coming. <laughs> but yeah, like F1 coming back. Like, yeah. I'm not a huge, I mean, but I'll watch it at the IMS. Heck yeah. That'll I mean, give me some good memories. Uh, like some, you know, some nostalgia. Yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, well, I talked about wanting to increase fan zones and fan areas. I love that. Because our, our midway could definitely use a little pep in its step. A little bit, a little bit. Um, it's just a bunch of vendors. We don't, I mean, we need to have more fun things in between. We do have the carding. There's the carding, but like, that's a whole commitment. There needs to be other, I mean, there's the kids zone, which is good for I little kids. I want a Ferris wheel. I want some carnies and some carny rides. Thank you. I literally said that to somebody else this week. I'm like, I want a Ferris wheel in the yes. middle of the track, just like Daytona. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. That's exactly what they have at Daytona, but I don't care. I don't I give a shit. That idea. It's don't think that Roger Penske doesn't know that that's a baller idea. Okay. He goes to the Rolex every year too. Which, by he the knows. way, they were out testing like this past week. They were. Right. I'm excited. Same lineup for Penske. Um, and also, this is completely off topic, uh, Jack Harvey was there testing the one of the two Shank cars in their Acura. And I was like, oh. I saw that. Like, we about to hang out with the whole Meyer Shank team again at the Rolex. Fuck yeah. Ooh, I wonder <laughs> if both of his parents will come in for that one. God, I hope so. Hmm. I hope so, too. You know we're going to get Anne Marie on the couch. Fuck yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. That's She's going to come hang out with us. Anne Marie, we have a couch and Jen. She'll be like, I, drop a pin and help me get over there. Yeah, especially while Jack's on track because he won't be around to tell her to quit drinking. Yeah. Uh, Anne Marie, you can have as many drinks with us as you want. Yeah. Okay. And we won't tell Jack. And we won't no. judge. No. God, no. We understand the need to drink. When you're not around a parent or you're a parent and you're not around your children. Like, I'm not going to say shit about shit. Nope. No. Put it in the vault. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> oh, all right. Anything else on Penske? <sighs> not that we've already said, so I'm trying not to repeat. Okay. About- I don't think so. I think we've kind of said it all. I'm excited. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think, I think that uh, it'll be a... A wonderful 2020 season. I'm excited already for the 2020. Like, I was already excited, but now I'm, like, doubly excited. Doubly excited. I do want to call out Juliana for having um, one of the best tweets this week. Um, (laughs) Okay. Because it made me LOL. (laughs) And let's see. (laughs) Oh, are you scrolling through it right now? I am. Um, damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Lewis Hamilton on Sunday. Win sixth F1 championship of his career. What could be more newsworthy than this? Roger Pinsky on Monday. Hold my beer. <laughs> I don't think I saw that. <laughs> oh, God. That's a... Oh. Oh. Mm. That's yeah. fantastic. Especially that is RP, like, hold my beer. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, that's going to carry me through the rest of this week. <laughs> yep. Roger Penske on Monday. Hold my beer. Oh. <laughs> it was crazy, by the way. You were asleep. I'm in a different I woke, time. I woke up to 57 <laughs> text messages. Because you were asleep in a different time. And I was in a different time zone. And I was like, I don't know what time it is anymore. I have to text somebody. Like, I woke up my mom. And you just said, have you seen the email? And I was like, no, checking now. Because I woke up to that many text messages. And I just immediately went to yours. Because I'm like, okay, there's so many groups about racing. 
Um, and I'm get I'm getting texts from people that don't even follow racing, but still heard about it. And I'm their go-to person. Um, yeah. And so I'm, I'm like, okay, just cut to the chase, go to Molly. And, and I always appreciate that you don't ruin the surprise. You're just like, have you checked your email? But, Cause like, I, I want you to be, feel the surprise that I did, which was waking up, rolling over and look, I mean, it was the first email on like my notifications. that was like Roger Penske to buy IMS and IndyCar. And I was like, huh? The fuck did you just say to me? I know I'm in Seattle, but I have not smoked pot. What am I staring at? Right. What is happening what is right happening? now? And then like mom and I, so you and I talked, my mom and I were talking about everything. And then she was like, well, go wake your father up. So like I walked back to where they were sleeping and like dad's awake and he looks at me and he's like, and he's already dressed and everything. That's yeah. So he's coming out and I was like, dad, I had a nightmare. I dreamed that Roger Pinsky bought the IMS in IndyCar. And he was like, only you would have a nightmare about that. And I was like, just kidding. It's real. And I smacked him on the shoulder and walked back to the kitchen. <laughs> was like, what? And I was like, surprise. It's happened. And like he just, he just stood there for like a good minute. And I was like, oh my gosh, doing? I can see the look on his face right now. Right. And he was like, I'm just trying to process this. And I was like, I'm going to need you to process it quicker because we're about to jump on a conference call. <laughs> right. So like, I'm gonna we're to get we're about to, to call this. in. Yeah. Like. <laughs> oh, yeah. hilarious. Damn, that's wild, funny. Wild. Um, so uh, one last piece of news before we probably white flag it. I was going to say, yes, um, the final arrow screen testing. Okay, two pieces of news before we white flag it. All right, so I was going to say the final aero screen testing, and Aero McLaren SP's livery was covered with a bunch of A's and M's, and so we just want to give a shout-out to that team and say, don't worry, boys, we still love you. Um, even though it does kind of look like somebody up Chuck SpaghettiOs. A little bit. Um, but, but I appreciate the A and M. Yes. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yep. And it was Pat. It was it. It was Pata who was driving it. It was. Yeah. She said, hoping that she read that whole news. I'm still in a weird time zone thing. So anyway. I know you are. It's okay. Yeah, Pata was driving it. So yeah, now it's just. I think they. The big thing is still working on the cooling system. Yeah. Um, there's there's been some changes and improvements, but they're still working to get it right. But otherwise. Yeah. Everybody seems to be pretty okay with it. Ready to go. That's. See, 2020 is going to have a lot of new things. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah. Um, so my news, or my piece of news, um, though it's not news, it's like pre-news, because I just want to point out that we actually shifted our recording a day later. And yet, news is going to break Friday, because that's when Meyer Shank Racing is putting out their announcement of everything. Sons of bitches. It was like, are you kidding me when I saw it? It was like... 11 8 2019 and i was like uh, damn it I'm like i just we're i gonna just miss it by one day even on the week that we record a day late it, it, this is what i, I mean uh, hey I'm, you know what let's, let's let's not be upset because a it's going to be a good announcement right b the penske news broke before we recorded that's true and like, three I didn't have to work that day, so I got to go in person. That's and true. you like, weren't working, so you got to listen with your parents. So, I mean, we, we have lots of wins this week. We do. And it's just, it's more, like, funny to me that... Oh, it's hilarious. It, it's, yeah, it's it's ironically very funny. It's, like, the height of, of irony. Like, oh, we moved it, and yet news still broke, like, the day after. Yeah. We, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Thanks. Thanks a lot for that. Yeah. Finger guns. <laughs> finger guns, yeah. Yeah, don't think that we're going to forget about that, by the way, Nigel. I want the finger guns, okay? Finger guns. Finger, finger guns. guns. In also, fact, if you sexy. do that... <laughs> yes, continue. Uh, so, oh, I was going to say, yeah, Big Sexy, you can shoot the finger guns, too. I think that'd be hilarious as well. No, I was going to say something else to him, so continue on with your message about finger guns. So I was going to say, Nigel, if you actually shoot us the finger guns and let us take a cool picture of you, we will even put it on our website, which if you don't know how to find our website, <laughs> you can find it at www.fastcarsfastgirls.com. Bet no. you thought I forgot, bitch, didn't you? I didn't even think about I've had like three glasses of wine. 
okay, I, I, I just kept thinking, I'm like, we're going to get to white flag and she's going to just be so ready for me to not say it. Um, so anyhow, you can find us on our website, www.fastcarsfastgirls.com. You can link to all of our social media from there. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. I think that's about it. Um, the TikTok thingy. I did, but I haven't said I haven't set up the account. Okay. Yeah, I downloaded the app, and that was as far as I got the other night. I fell asleep. Yeah. I mean, so, you know. right? It, it happens. Um, so anyhow, you can also find us on every podcast hosting site app etc um so make sure that you subscribe like rate review share us with your friends and family and if you see us at a racetrack reach out and say hey if you have any questions feel free to hit us up on social media you can hit us up you know in publicly or privately um but we always enjoy connecting with fans and other race fans so we appreciate you listening (laughs) all right Um, go ahead i was just gonna say excuse you big sexy please respond to my message Big sexy, are you ignoring Molly? Well, you were CC'd on it too. Oh, uh, was it on Instagram? No, it was on Facebook. Mm, was it today? No, it was like before I left for Seattle. Um. Oh God, did I hit, not hit a button? Well, now you're gonna make me panicked. Yeah, I don't have a message. Between you and Big Sexy, with, that includes me. Damn it! Never mind. I'm not allowed to use social media anymore. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, you can use social media. It's just if you have tried to slide into Molly's DMs and she hasn't responded, it's not because she's not interested. It's just because she doesn't know how. Well, please don't make people slide into my DMs. What happened? How do I tell them <laughs> I've been? Thing. No, I'm telling them that they shouldn't. They should absolutely not do that because you'll never respond. I don't know how to check my sent messages on Facebook Messenger. Is this a do thing? Have, do you have the Messenger app? I do have the Messenger app. Is, should it just be in, like, my main, like, open? Yeah, yeah it's going to be in your main thing. Yeah, because it's, oh, like, it's like text. I didn't send it somehow. <laughs> oh, damn it. You're like, you were on it, too. I'm like, nope. Shit, I forgot to hit a button. That means I hit the cancel button instead of the send button. That happens a lot. Anyway, <laughs> let's move to white flag. <laughs> I was trying to be productive in everything. Even while I was on vacation, I was like, I'm going to message all these people. I'm going to also get shit set up. Nope. Oh, anyway, big sexy. Fantastic. Nigel, watch out. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. It's going to be a good year. It I think that's my is. white flag. I mean, we were already excited about the next year. It's the year of FCFG. Um, We're already excited about the 2020 season. And and then this is just kind of the the cherry on top. Uh, There's just a lot of excitement for me personally. And, like, I'm just – I'm Christmas morning excited. Uh, But I think there's just – personally and professionally, yes. I think there's just a lot of excitement around the series and just what all of this is going to mean and – it's just, it's a great time to be an IndyCar fan. Nice. What about you? Well, first of all, because I am my sister, I have to say happy wedding. I don't know what you use. Uh, to the Brohim and his lovely bride. Um, oh, yeah. Congratulations. Who, she was asking me questions about the Indy 500 and 465. So I got to tell my qualifying joke, which <laughs> I appreciate. And also a special shout out to my cousin Kyle, who was like, all of a sudden we're driving somewhere and he turns and he goes, man, where's Hench going to end up? And I was like, oh my God, you're my favorite cousin. Right. And I was like, uh, I didn't, I don't think I knew this. Uh, what race do you want to go to, Kyle? Right. Oh, that's fantastic. The wedding I went to a couple weeks ago, everybody's sitting around talking about the Colts. And I literally just looked around and I'm like, does anybody want to talk about race cars? Does anybody like racing? But not NASCAR. No, just me. All right. I'm going to go grab another drink. I'm going to go to the bar. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Kyle can come hang out anytime. That's it. He, Kyle's going to come. My Aunt Karen's going to come. Apparently, the tightest side of the family likes the race cars. Who knew? That's awesome. So, that's my white flag. Well, excellent. I like it. All right. Well, folks, thanks for listening. Have a great week. Bye.